Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is Quantum Physics and Psychology. So, the notion that quantum mechanics might have something to do with psychology, or more generally the emergence of consciousness, has been an idea that's been entertained by several physicists and scientists, though not a majority. The two common theories that involve quantum physics and the generation of consciousness is holonomic brain theory or HBT for short and orchestrated objective reduction theory or orch or for short Now, the former of these two radical theories was developed by two scientists, Pribram and David Bohm, who was a very famous physicist. And the basic idea behind this theory is that memory is essentially holographic in nature, and one would in involve uh, Fourier transforms towards understanding how memory is formed and thoughts are generated in the mind. Orchestrated objective reduction theory was a theory that was developed by Penrose and Hameroff. Penrose also being a very famous theoretical physicist who did a lot of um, high energy theory and came up with twister theory in general relativistic settings. And the idea behind this theory, abbreviated as orch or, is that entanglement and inherently quantum mechanical phenomena might exist in the microtubules of brain cells in the brain. So this idea was coupled with the notion that human thought could not be reproduced classically due to Gerdel's incompleteness theorems, one cannot simulate or mimic human thought with a classical processor. One would have to resort to building or constructing a quantum processor that was at least as complex as the human brain. So coupling these two ideas led to this idea that one could not construct true AI, at least not with a classical computer and that quantum effects might actually have an important role to play in the generation of thought in brain cells. It's important to note that neither of these theories is highly regarded by most scientists. They're just notions, um, theories, or hypotheses that try to connect quantum mechanics with the holistic aspects of consciousness. And furthermore, there is really no experimental confirmation of any of these theories. In fact, some of the predictions made by orch or theory have actually been falsified and shown to be inconclusive or completely untrue. But these are just two of, of, in, of a wide variety of theories in trying to connect quantum mechanics to psychology, and these are the most popular ones. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is Quantum Physics and Psychology.